Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be in the world. George here from DGP Plus Engineering, just looking to set up this episode. The picture that you, you're looking at uh, on your screen right now is my, my iDrive. I remember the day I, I was planning on releasing two more episodes, two more tutorial videos. My computer just died on me and uh, this guy just cracked down. I tried to fix it, you know, I, with, with that, you know, good response. So, if you, you know, you noticed that I was not uploading any more videos online on my channel on YouTube because of this guy. So, for that, I just want to apologize, you know, for, for unfortunate that happened and I'm looking forward to new things. So, without further ado, let's dive into it. Okay, uh, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to uh, launch uh, AutoCAD 2022 because uh, the, the 2D sketches were made with AutoCAD as you can see right now. So I'm going to open uh, the inner post file. These are profiles of uh, inner post. That they're not only inner post, but on Archicad, we are going to use them as panels. So we are going to create profile from these sketches and extrude those profile that is going to help us you know to create object that will be saved as a panel in archicad and from those panel we're going to use uh, the criteria base on those panel into the railing and from the railing you know we'll be able to see the look on the panel on AutoCAD, you will notice that in, in you know I've I've definitely created you know uh, views, you know, specific views in specific locations, you know, of uh, my sketches. Because instead of instead of having a broader view of my two D sketches, I I rather have a tighter view that will give me two two elements or three elements instead of having a broader because. I want to be able to focus on certain elements. So I can a specific view as we, you, you can see right now. You know, the views of uh, the bottom view, top view, near one, near two, near three views. So I set them up that because they help me to focus on specific portion of my design, on specific you know, you know, detailing, on specific you know, figures. So that hel helps me to work a little bit quicker and stuff, you know, using my, my mouse to drag, you know, you know rotate, uh, you know, back, uh, and it uh, helps me to improve my work and to be uh, more efficient than having, you know, to drag, you know, my interface up and down looking for a specific look. So what is going to happen is that we are going to use these two d sketches based on their dimensions. You can see that even some of them that are, you know, I didn't finish, you know, the annotation and dimensioning of it. So to those who have already finished or those who, you know, how I was done with, we are going to use their dimensions to create the shape that we need definitely so as how i'm using you know the views that i created to 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 zoom in and out you know to to look at a specific view for me to do the work as uh, you know uh, needed you know and in this you know talk you can create these views you know they are not that difficult you know they're not that as you can see on your screen right now you can create uh, views based on your drawings. You can you can you, you can create views, you know, based on your your model view. You know, model view basically refers to to the actual view on your interface. You now, the actual view, the actual position of your cursor where you want to see. You know, ideally for you to perform your work. So you can even create. You know, uh, add more views depending how broad and how wide is your sketch and how many views do you need you know you you can create views you know based on on specific uh, uh, location or or broadly meaning that the whole interface so it, it, it's very easy you know creating view in AutoCAD helps you to 
to be more focused focus in, in a way in the sense that you, know, you focus or you can even you know expand it it's up to you and after that you know the good thing about it is that you know you can after making some modification on element or your sketches you are able to update them so that's really a fun fantastic in creating the views so i'm so pumped up you now using autocad you know for my two these sketches you know you know and making these views just to facilitate and, and simplifies my job without wasting any more time let's dive into it. Uh, get rolling now so the thing is uh, this is the dwg file from AutoCAD that I've imported into Archicad. So these, the, these, the, these are just you know uh, lines you know from uh, AutoCAD that I've imported into Archicad, kind of a 2D representation. So what's gonna happen is that we're gonna use one or two of these you know uh, graphical shapes to create our profile the profile then we will extrude the profile to have a an object or a 3d shape from that 3d shape we use the 3d shape to create no we will save the 3d shape as an object or you know, an, an object or whatever you know a building element that we have but in our case because Archicad has uh, so many building elements we have, you know, as a wall, or as a column, as a beam, you know, depend on which type of job that you are doing. But in our case, we are working with railing, right? So the thing is, after choosing the, the, the type of, you know, uh, uh, shape that we want uh, for our railing, we take that shape, we will create a profile. On with that shape and from that profile we will extrude that profile extrude the mean that giving it a depth give giving it a thickness right so that's how we're gonna do it so in, in our case okay we're gonna choose uh, uh, let's say let's go down okay we're gonna choose this shape here this 2d line representation and this one because i don't want this video to 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 be kind of for two hours or no no i don't want not even 20 minutes i need something of 16 so maximum 16 minutes so that's why i'm gonna choose just uh, just a simple sim simple shapes but maybe later on on the other videos the dinner we will choose the most complicated one so we're gonna choose these two shapes so they are here they have done to really let let me cut cut off a marquee at the marquee here let me open the marquee you will see those two shapes they are already here. What, what I did, I didn't. Well, I, I, I went straight ahead. You know, I went straight ahead, creating, you know, uh, the 3D representation of those shapes. You know, that will allow us to do the job much quicker. So they are here. So I will explain to you what I did here. So the thing is, if I go to the floor plan, okay. If, if I go to the floor plan right here, let's say, let's take an example of, of this one, okay? It's, we have two bars and uh, four, two vertical bars, kind of extremes bars, you know, and uh, two, I mean, four centered bars, you know? Because railing, most of the time, they're made of uh, steel bars or made of wood, but in our case, you know, let's use steel, okay? But the thing is, what, what I did here, after having this, uh, this 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 2d sketch you know representative of our final element what i did is this right what about this this to turn uh, the 2d into 3d you have to have you must have a sketch first and from from that sketch perspective you will, you will then be able to create a profile right so you have a sketch a profile and you have a 3d representation of your element right so your profile becomes an object so what i did here i came Archicad has a tool called morph tool this morph tool helps you to create profile and to extrude them at the same time not at once but with two or four clicks you can do it so the thing is you create it it, it takes the to the sketch convert it into a profile and from a profile you have your shape extruded so 
I clicked on Morph Tool. I came here. I just have uh, because these are lines, right? They are they are all lines. So I press down the the middle bar, you know, or the space bar of my keyboard, the big space bar of my keyboard. I press it down. You see, there is a kind of a, a little wand that appears. It says that you know what? I do. I are you want to use me a, a wand to create your profile? And then I say yes. Yes means that I just clicked on it so once you click because this is a profile right they are remember they are set horizontally on the horizontal plane but the one that I carry they are already vertical because I rotated them from the horizontal to becoming vertical so what I did here I use the winder I click here like this I click once and I went to the other side I click twice or what I did I just click once here and extruded it and copy it on the other side or, or either I, I, then I click here, I came here I click once again instead of clicking everywhere I just click because, because of time remember I told you we don't have much time so I just click once then I copy after extruding it I copy it you know uh, uh, here you know there and there no, and 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 then you know I, I just copy you know the extruded uh, 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 part from this side to that side. So if I go, if let's see me cut another new marker here, you will see what I, I did. If I cut a new marker here. I say open my marker. This is and I go you know fit 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 it in window. You see what I, what's what's happened. It created a profile based on my on my sketch, you know. The the sketch, go back. This is my sketch, right? The this is my sketch. Based on this, after using, after you know, clicking on morph and hovering over my sketch, you know, the control of my, my sketch, pressing down keyboard space bar, you know, pressing it down and clicking on the left button of my mouth, you know, I've automatically created a profile on this surface you know it has to be a closed surface not an open one on the open one, it doesn't work so I, I click it there I click here on, on the, this one and I came here I click on this one so that gave me this profile that we are seeing here so what I, I did next I actually did this you know I, I based on my AutoCAD you know shape when if I go back here because now I need the depth of it to make it a 3d shape so what I did most of them they are uh, uh, comma zero to meaning that two centimeter so what I did I just went back here I actually did you no know, uh, I, I did the same operation that that I did uh, uh, the profile so I, I, I press down the space you know uh, button of, of, of my keyboard then I click on the surface once then I, uh, I click twice or either you can double kick if you want because remember I, I told you you can create it using two, two two to four clicks so what I did then I stretch it up you know the profile I stretch it up now I can give it a depth right because the thing is I want my middle bars to be centered so the thing is I have to ex extrude once you know on the upper you know di direction and on the lower direction because the, the depth is, is two centimeters meaning that I will not, on the upper I'm gonna go with point comma zero one okay then I will rotate you know to the the lower direction here like this and now extrude it to say what zero comma one there he is I have it so I'll on all this middle let's let me let us zoom here on this middle profile here I'm just gonna do the same but now but this time instead of putting it uh, assigning it you know values of, of depth I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna uh, uh, drag click and drag you know I'll come here uh, yeah I have to zoom on the element first to about I come get, I, I, I do the same operation I, I press down on my uh, uh, space bar uh, I, I mean uh, my space button or for my keyboard double click I click once or double click then I drag it at this level like this you see I drag there then I click I do the same thing with the top surface I click and drag it's just it's just a matter of clicking and drag click and drag there we are 
we have two elements already of my object so what I'm going to do next I'm just, just going to copy it right I have already this one right here right and this one right here right I created all, both of them already so what I'm going to do next I'm just going to click on this side copy and drag so the thing is the best way to copy and drag in Archicad in stuff you go to edit you, you you have all of a move instead of coming here what what i do most of the time after selecting my object i click on one side i drag it right the drag command is activated i drag it to make a copy i just press control once there's a plus and that appears you can see on my cursor down here there's a plus sign, which means you, you mean that you are telling Archicad to copy that this element after clicking on control click once it copies i do the same thing for the other uh, the other element sorry click here click here and drag it's not going to do and copy and drag click and drag and click uh, control it's, it copies go down here do the same thing control it copies go lower click here it copies automatically so then if i go on 3d let it come up so now we we're gonna check it and convert it into an object or convert it into a panel we're gonna convert this object into a panel but the thing is though this object is set horizontally we have to set it vertically to make it work so how we're gonna do it it's, it's just simple so what i'm going to do to make it vertical i want to use my section i come here on the first floor the section that i created okay i can grab this section because we are using a 3d right we're using a 3d element so i'm going to pause any problem here i put it here so i can i, I can even uh, mirror it because for you to look on on the other side i open it I've, i'm opening my section then I say fit in window. There is my section right here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you see, they are not group. I haven't really grouped them yet. I selected. I go Control G to group them. They are grouped. They are one object, all of them. Then I go back. I come here. I select my object. It's all selected. When I do, I click on one side. Then I say rotate. I say rotate this element from horizontal to vertical if i go back on my market tool there is the vertical element so this is how you do it this is how you create uh, a object out of profile you know using uh, the morph tool you, you, there's a lot of things you can do with it there's a lot of things you can do with the morph tool you you, you can do uh, you know you can create and an, even some mechanical shape you know i use the morph tool to create them because remember i'm a mechanical engineer so yeah that that is how you do it so i've done it already so after cre creating your your object like this you have now to save it as a panel remember you said this object is a panel but before saving it as a panel you have or it stands vertically so you have, you have to assign it a vertical plane you come here you uh, you just right click you, you go down to edit plants uh, uh, and then you pick you, you click on pick plant you pick plant you say okay i want this vertical plane here i want the front vertical plane like this you click again into plane so so if you you're going to use this element again the reference plane of it will be vertical so it be horizontal so let's i i i send the plane which say i said that it has to be vertical i, cl I click on it i go to file five over labyrinth object i have over save save selection as i'll come here then i say save it as a railing panel as i save this element as a railing panel i said i say okay so do are you sure i say yes then i'll save it somewhere i've saved it already you can see here i've given it i've, I've done it already there are two of them already uh, that i've done so we don't need to do it again they have always i'll save them already so I, I can give it a name here or this one or that one I can choose between this one and that one I'll save it already so then you go to save then you follow the process that just gonna tell you no uh, you, 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 you can send names on it you can send pictures on it you can send description you can send keywords so ahead of it so that's 
you know, think what you will be confronted to as you continue this process. So I'll click on cancel just to come down because I've done it already. Uh, and then after doing that, after saving it as a panel, so there, these are the two you know, objects that are created, the two objects that are created, then I save them as a panel to be reused on the railing. Yeah. So this is what I did. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm going to use them now. So I saved them already as panels to be re reused. So uh, they are two. Yeah, they are. So what I'm going to do next is go to first flow. I used it already uh, because I was kind of working on it. Let's come here. Yes. See, this is a balcony. There's a railing here. So if I uh, cut off a mark here, you'll see what I did. Cut off a mark here. I say right click. I say show se selection mark in 3D. Then I say is fit in window or zoom to fit. Yes, as you can see. Yes, what I did. Well, it. So at the bottom here, we're having a rail. On top, you're having a top rail because I remove the handrail and uh, other components such as you know, the balusters, you know, the, 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 the inner uh, poles. So I kept only the railing. So this is how you can do it as well as you are working. So the same thing, what, 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 what you can do, you can just drag a copy okay you click on on this the one that is is, is currently in place you draw a copy and you click then you go back but i have a pro i'm gonna have a problem because i have to cut in a data marquee for both of them to appear otherwise only this one will appear not this one show me only the marquee not the full thing i don't want that i'm gonna say open the marquee okay here is the mark right okay we having our object here what i'm going to do i'm going to change uh, i'm going to choose a new profile here instead of using the same profile i'll click it because remember we had two profiles right now go to railing settings i'm going to have our other panel here come here the first profile the data chose was uh, complex uh, panel one now i'm, I'm going to choose complex uh, panel two Double click on it. Here is my profile. I click OK. Automatically, it changes everything. Here is the new tap of railing that I just created. So this is the new tap of railing that I just created. So you can tweak it at your desire. You can tweak it. You can give. You can remove the rail. You can remove the top rail. Put something else. So you can do a lot of things with it. It's just up to you. You know. I, 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 in this, I would say the sky is the limit. Definitely, the sky is the limit with the rolling tool. Most of architectural tools, I guarantee you, the sky is the limit. You can do anything with them. So, for instance, here you can see you you you, you can say that you know my panels are cutting my top rail, right? They're cutting. They're in. So. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to click on, on rail, on, on the railing settings. I'll go to segment. The segment, you see, uh, my railing is, is 1.10, uh, 1 you know, meter. 1, 1 meter, 10 centimeter, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to increase it a little bit. I'll say, okay, 160, please. There we go. You see? There we go. There we go. Easy. There is. My, my, my railing is all set. It depends on which profile you want to, to use, which type of profile. It's up to you how to tweak it. How do you want it to appear? You know, what is your goal? Which type of design you, you are after? Which type of design are you planning? You know, when I click on it, I, I go to settings like this. About my post, my post is, is one meter nine, right? It's this different hub, right? Can remove this this nine to say put it one one meter so it's it, it's yeah it it resizes it itself down but it's too too much down now because I want I want it to 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 touch the edge the inner edge of uh, the top rail so I let put it two some centimeter more yeah because it was nine seven two it fits there we go 
there is my post fitting properly. So the, the, this is how you play with the rail, the railing tool. This is how you take advantage. This is how I take ad advantage of Archicad tools to do different design, and you know, you know, I, and, and be able to check, you know, the contrast, and the ad advantages, you know, the constraints. So this is how I do it. You can even remove, you know, the rail or the top rail. If I click on this, I, I'll go to the railing settings. I have a or, or I click on rail, something like this. So the thing is, on this panel here, on top, on your top right, you will see that the, there's a plus button, there's a minus button. The plus button says add rail, the minus button says remove rail. If you click on the minus button, your rail is gone. You see, there's no more rail here. And if I valid, there won't be any more rail. You see, the rail is gone. The rail is gone completely. And I, I, I can press the, the alt command to, to, to pick up the settings of that rail come and press alt and control at the same time place it here there we are you see there's no more rail right they have the same profile now no more rail. but this one is a little bit high right it's a little bit up i have to take it down so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna click on it so you know what go down a little more go there by nine there we go right as you can see it's all set it's all set same thing you know it's all set this is how i take advantage of the railing tool this is how i use my railing tool and to bring you know an improvement and and, and sophisticated design in everything that i do so you know now how to play with the railing tool. You know now how to use the railing tool for your own advantage. You know how to make your design look awesome and, uh, and with a great perfection of a master using the railing tool. There are a lot of things you can do about it. What, what I will be doing, I will be posting you know, a demonstration of uh, element that I created. You, you will be able to follow along and see how I do it. All the elements that I get, all the objects that I create for this project, I will be posting videos, uh, or, you know, uh, uh, describing the process that I followed to make them. But uh, I want I, I want to be posting them on YouTube. But if you if you visit my Facebook page, you will be able you know to to see all the demonstration and uh, follow along and make cool design. So this this was my duty. This was my purpose. This is Jerush talking to you from JJP Plus Engineering in the Arch Architecture Department. Thanks for watching.